video. I had a long day today. I actually did a photo shoot today. If you don't know, I'm into photography. Um, I haven't been doing it much lately. However, I did have a shoot to do, so I'm really, really happy that I got the chance to do that. And that was at 6.30 a.m. I got up, went to the shoot, left there. It was really, really far at the beach. And then came back, like went home quickly, got ready, reached the work. Anyway, that being said, I have some x-rays to show you. I just want to show you all a couple x-rays, just a couple trauma x-rays, if you kind of get an idea of what you might expect to see when it comes to fractures and stuff like that within the adult accident and emergency department. I'll tell you what happened to the patient for them to get this, this pathology and um, just show you all the pathology. Um, well the x-ray so I'm coming off the screen and let's get to the x-ray sure. so I'm blocking off the patient's name and date of birth uh, but yeah this is the knee and at first you would think okay it's a normal knee kind of right we see a little bit of rotation of the femur so the condyles don't look very um like parallel to the surface of the table and then we work our way down the doctor actually requested a foot so I don't know how well they would have briefed or, or considered what to request for this patient but long story short as soon as I saw them I knew it wasn't a foot actually that they needed um, but yeah work our way down and BAM so if you look at something interesting here the knee is in an AP position and the ankle is in a lateral position and we have a fracture of both the distal tibia and fibula so yeah it's interesting um, you can see that the tibia is comminuted, like it's in multiple pieces, technically three, that little fragment there. And we will see more information on the other image, right? We also see that the fibula is a bit more anterior than its usual position. Usually it would be lying around here, so also the distal one to the other part of the tibia it will be superimposed on that, but it's not. For the lateral, we see that, so I did a lateral angle. We see the extent to which the fracture and displacement has occurred. So you can see that even though the ankle is in a lateral position, the tibia and the fibula is more so twisted into its AP. So it would have been the ankle that twists. And yeah, this had happened. So the history that the patient gave was that there was a robbery. And I think the person in, a, in the midst of a tussle, they fell on the leg. Like they fell on top of his leg and does the damage so yeah it's pretty pretty bad but yeah that's one of the pathologies so I'm gonna do some patients and I'll come back with a few more okay y'all so for the next pathology I actually mixed up um, the history this is a patient where they asked for the foot x-ray but they really needed that tip film right this patient is the one that let me see the name okay this is the one that got into the altercation during the robbery the previous one actually fell um while he was walking um there was a language barrier so i didn't get too much information but yeah this is the damage so yes this is indeed his right ankle i don't know why i placed my marker on the side there usually i would place it lateral to the part i only just noticed that but anyway, yeah, this is the right ankle, and of course I did it ankle up um, instead of like a typical tip because nothing was wrong with his knee. And this is the unfortunate, wow, this exposure, keep switching. This is the unfortunate pathology that came about. So we see a really interesting fracture here, the fibula and the tibia fractured in several pieces. It looks to be about three pieces, One, actually one, two three and four pieces the tibia is at the bottom there this is the lateral ankle and yeah these things you see in here he actually had some blisters so yeah, it was pretty bad the damage um but that's what his ankle is looking like so yes and the next interesting pathology was this hand x-ray the patient got a cast and as you can see, a piece of the bone is missing. And that is because this patient suffered a gunshot wound to his hand and the bullet went through and through, causing a gaping hole that actually broke away from the cortex because of the size of the bullet um, through the hand, which is so interesting. Nothing was wrong with the rest of the hand or the wrist, but yeah, that is the 
one view and then this is the oblique so we could clearly see we got to isolate the finger in the oblique and we see um, the extent to which the bullet took through that um, that space there the bone so this is his dilemma this is the third distal phalanx so yeah or phalanges right so that's what happened in this case it was a gunshot wound let me see if i find any other but i think that might be it for now so i might end off this video pretty soon thank you so much for watching i will see you all in the next video i hope that this was helpful bye